What is going on guys? This is KNASD3090 here. Welcome back to another video of the realistic franchise of the Detroit Tigers. We are in episode 15. We just lost the World Series in 2021. Nick Castellanos, which is kind of, I just realized this. He was the guy who uh, got player of the game in the series losing game for us. We won the first two. We lost the last four. So we got to make some changes, but we're all, all in all, we're a pretty good team. We won 94 games last year. We didn't make the, uh, or we didn't win the division, but we did lose in the World Series. So let's get in the offseason. Pitching coach has decided to retire. Let's see who else retires. Ivan Nova, thank God, you trash can. Uh, Dustin Pedroia, Miguel Cabrera, so we traded him and then he retired, so. All in all, actually the Rays got some seller relief out of it. So, uh, yeah. He made the Hall of Fame, obviously. It's not going to go in as a Ray, he's going to go in as a uh, Tiger. Exclusive free agents, holy crap. Will Smith, I definitely want to keep. Tommy Pham? Maybe. Let's take a look at our team. So let's look at the outfielders. So we currently have Mookie Betts, Tommy Pham... Ben Attendee, Christian Stewart, and Rixie. Um, probably will let Pham go. He's 34. Unless his contract's dirt cheap. 10 million is not. I'm going to give him a qualifying offer. Joe Kelly has been really good for us the last three years. I'll definitely want to keep him if the money is right. 4.3 is a little pricey, but for one year, I think it's fine. Ivaldi had a really good year at 200 plus innings, so he's durable. I mean, with injuries on, that definitely matters. How much does he want a year? Seven? I'll do a one-year deal on that. Evan Gaddis hit 21 home runs, 260 average as a catcher. No more than like four, oh, three million, and he wants to be a platoon. A one-year deal works. Daniel Norris has been not great in the regular season. I mean, he had a 4-6 ERA this past season. But he was always pretty good in the bullpen. But eight million? Thanks, but no thanks. And Zimmerman, I'm just going to let go. Um... So let's see what happens with Will Smith and if those players accept. Will Smith is exercised his option. He'll be making $7.1 million in 2022. Okay. So, Kelly, Ivaldi, and Gaddis all signed. And that's it. So, let's move forward. And let's take a look at arbitration. We got J.P. Crawford, Alvarado, Ronnie Rodriguez, and Nico Goodrum. So, Crawford was really good in the playoffs. Let's see what he's going to cost. $9 million a year. That's, that's crazy, man. All right. Well, I mean, I could take him to arbitration. He made two points. I'm going to take him to arbitration. That's ridiculous. I'm going to put him at four. He's asking not. I'll put it at four and a half. Alvarado. Didn't pitch great once we got him from Tampa, but um, I'm still liking the kid. $4.2 million for two years. He's not the closer. That's going to be Will Smith. Still, though. You can get him for, yeah, 4.2. Ron Rodriguez, definitely want to keep him as a super utility guy. How much does he want? 2.9. What did he make last year? 500,000. Let's bring it up to, like, I'm taking these guys to arbitration. I normally don't. Let's go, like, 1.2. And Nico, um, kind of the same thing. He has super utility. How much does he want? 2.4 as well. And last year he made 600,000. I'll take him to 1. So, yeah, hopefully we can win these arbitration hearings. Go to uh, our contracts now. Casey Mize is going to get a new deal. Probably just a two-year deal for now. The rest of these guys, I'm going to sign them. And then let's uh, move forward with the offseason. We do have a good amount of players we could lose to the 40-man draft. Uh, 40-man, uh, Rule 5 draft from the 40-man roster. So let's fix that. So Bo Burrows is eligible for it. All right, to the 40-man. Same with Matt Manning. I could rock with him in the rotation this year. Go with, like, Avoldi, Fulmer, Mize, Burrows, Manning. I might do that. Um... I do want to see what is out there in free agency. Our bullpen looks pretty good. We got Avalon, uh, Kelly, Alvarado, Jimenez, Will Smith, and Sir Anthony Dominguez. That's a really good bullpen. Catchers, we got Gaddis, Jake Rogers, who might back up or maybe one more year in the minors. I don't know. He's 26, but he's continuing to improve. He got a plus 15 in power last year alone. That's impressive. Um, and we got this Gradoville kid who's a project. First base, we got a Bray who I might want to trade. We got Guzman as well. Second base, Scooter Jeanette is our second baseman. Third base, Condelario. I don't know what to do with the, these two kids. I'm, I, I guess, continue to let them play in the minors and get better. I, I mean, I definitely think Brayman's the better of the two. 
But we'll continue to let them play and figure it out. Can either of them play any other positions? They can't. J.P. Crawford's at short. I just make sure they're not eligible for the Rule 5 draft. They shouldn't be, and they are not. Outfield. Now, we could put Stewart at DH. I think that's probably ideal, is go Benintendi, Rixie, Betts, Stewart at DH. And then um, get rid of Jose Abreu. So let's try to put him up. Or we can go with, like, a Guzman. On, I don't know. But Abreu is just going downhill. He's 35. So, um, yeah, I think that's it. So let's go to the trade block. Update trade block. And let's put some players on it. So let's put... I'll put Croft. Oh, we can't trade him. I might put Condelario on it. Just to see, let's just test our waters on it. I'll put um Anthony, Dominguez, Stewart out. I'll put some of these guys on it. Why not? Let's just see what we can get. I mean, if a team wants to get stupid with us, I'll talk. I'll put starters. We'll put, we don't need an outfielder. Maybe a first baseman. Maybe a future second baseman. Maybe a shortstop. And I guess catcher. There we go. So, only things we really need is like a starter. Maybe a catcher and have Gaddis be the backup. But let's so let's take a look at free agency. Correa is a free agent. We could afford him, looks like. We get Correa. We would then have to move on from JP Crawford. But holy cow, that could be a difference maker. He hit 55 home runs last year. Lindor is a free agent as well. He hit 40 home runs. A better defensive player, but not by much. Seeger, Jansen, Story. Archie Bradley, our boy Archie. What a free agent class. Aaron Nola. Um, F it. Let's go after Correa, man. Ah, damn it. Archie Bradley's a giant. Aaron Nola's an angel. Correa's a dot. Okay, so Seager's not going back there. I think so. Our budget. It's probably because of the stupid Tommy Pham. Um,. Please tell me he's like already has an offer. Let's see. Where is he? No offer yet. Condelario for Kevin Gaussman, who's an 89 overall, pitched pretty well last year, 379 ERA, and a catcher. Nah. But if we move Condelario, who's a big player. I mean, last year at 266 with 30 home runs. He plays average defense. His wins above replacement last year was 3.7. Brasinio, he's probably a backup, just based off the lack of hitting, but a good fielder. Um, and Gaussman, what's his contract? Two years remaining at making 13. That's not bad. That gives us a starter um, where we can probably put either probably Manning back in the minors and then because there's a little bit of depth, and then we would probably rock with Bram as our everyday third baseman. I just don't like Means' his lack of fielding. What was Gaussman's war last year? I mean, if we're going to compare wins above replacement. It was 2.5. Condelaro's got one year after this, and he'll be 30 and a free agent. He's improving a lot. Mm, do we get the pitcher? And the thing is, we can't like go out and offer trades in this, contract, in this um, franchise. Damn, that's a tough trade. That's a really good trade. He's 31. He's pretty durable. He pitched 197 innings last year. I wish you could see his, like... Oh, here's his durability. 85. That, But that cost us $11 million. I'm going to say no. Kenley Jansen's a Philly. Herrera's a Brave. Lindor's a Red Sox. Mazzara's a Diamondback. Claudio's a Dodger. All right, let's go into free agency. See, you're still out there. Same with Story. It's... You were barely negative. I bet if I go to Seeger or Story. If I go to Story and bring it down in terms of money. Just a little bit to get him to sign. Let's bring it down. See if that works. Nope. So no is a Dodger. So my... I'm in a little... I could wait to see what happens with... Or is he fam? He's probably going to accept the qualifying offer, which stinks. But if he doesn't, we could probably go get either Seager or Story. Or, instead of waiting, go out and get a Tyler Anderson. 
who pitched really well last year. He'll cost about fifteen million. Or I can go get Jonathan Lu eh, Lucor's not really much I'll probably just keep with um Gaddis. Salazar's out there. He pitched really well last year. How much will he cost? Fifteen million. I think we can definitely get him or Keichel. Andrew he I mean there's some really good options. Clue bots out there. Let's wait to see what happens with FAM, and that will kind of open up the uh, doors on the contracts. Damn you, FAM. All right, well, let's add him. That kind of figured that out. So update the trading block. Um, let's, put, let's put FAM out there. I can move Mookie to second, but Scooter Jeanette can't go off second. So we're going to have to figure out something with Stewart, FAM, Someone like that, or Abreu. we got to figure this out. So, let's go to free agency. Let's go get a pitcher. Let's go get... Do we have a lefty in the rotation? We don't. So, I would like to get the lefty. So, let's go get Tyler Anderson. Let's just do a one-year deal. Okay, we can't even afford it. And now he's a giant. Buxton's a mariner. Um. So, what if I go to Keuchel? How much will he want a year? Ten. Can we afford that? It's because of the arbitration. That's what's killing us. The arbitration offers we made and we didn't sign them. So what if I go to like Gio Gonzalez, who's always really solid. Drew Hutchinson, didn't really pitch great. Oda Rizzi, he pitched really well. Um, how much will he cost? 9.8. Gio is 6.4. Can we get Gio on a one-year deal? Nope. Michael Givens is an Indian. Well, let's just wait. Uh, Felipe Vasquez is a Dodger. Seager is an Astro. Wow. So who is missing out? The Rockies don't have... Yeah, the Rockies lost a shortstop because all those teams just swapped out their shortstops. And then they signed Javi Baez. Okay, so the Cubs lost out. So 40-man, we've already all set with that. Um, I'm just thinking. So right now our budget, yeah. So once the arbitration hearings are done, we can maybe sign a late uh, free agent. Heaney signed. And Ciarte signed. Keichel, crap, so he signed. Herrera signed with the Diamondbacks. Rule 5 draft. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, Verdugo was just taken. I don't know what, I mean, if there's anything we, ooh. 26-year-old starter, Logan Allen. He's 24. I believe he was a Red Sox draft pick. Um, I might do that. Let's get, because we have... Not, we don't have a lot of depth. So let's go get Logan Allen. We can have him play in the bigs, and let's see how he develops. He's only 24. 78 overall. We'll have to play in the bigs next year, but that's fine. He can be our long man, and if he gets hurt, that wouldn't even be like the worst thing. Because if you're on the uh, DL, that's fine for the Rule 5 draft to be eligible for your team. Carpenter is a Met. So Crawford, they signed with, decided with him. Sided with Goodrum, and they sided with, so we lost all of them. So we got to take care of our coach. Pitching in first. And first base coach. Oh, was it third base coach? That was it, my bad. I think I said our money is negative. It is. So we can't sign anyone. This has been a really quiet offseason. We kind of uh, kept the team as is. I mean, it's not the worst. I mean, we only lost... Um, I think we lost a starter. But, I mean, we still got a good young core. Let's uh, sim spring training. So, what I'm going to do... So, Guzman on the bench to start the year is fine. Uh, Stewart's on the bench and Rixie's playing every day. Can should he be playing? He could play center. I'm gonna have Stewart and Guzman on the bench for now. Um, Rixie leading off. I don't love that. Actually, it's not the worst thing. Let's get the kid leading off. Actually, I don't hate that lineup. Let's rock with that lineup. And then I want Rix. I just want Rixie playing every day. Like, if he's going to be in there, he's playing every day. 
I mean, against the National League, that's fine. Pitching rotation, Fulmer, Evaldi, Mize, Logan Allen, Bo Burrows. That's number five, and Matt Manning is in the minors. That's, that seems fine. Our bullpen's the strength of this team. It's not even, look at this bullpen, guys. Will Smith anchoring it. Alvarado, Sir Anthony Dominguez, Luis Avalon, Kelly Jimenez, Garcia. And that, so I think we're a bullpen heavy team. We're a pretty strong lineup. We got depth with like Guzman Stewart, Nico, Jake Rogers. Um, can we have another player? We can't. So all in all, that's a pretty damn good team. We are negative in the budget, but barely. And I want to update the trading block because I will put players on this. So first off, Abreu. Let's put him on it. Let's put. Uh, I'll put Crawford on it if we can get a shortstop back. Christian Stewart, Tommy Pham. We want catchers. Don't need a third baseman yet. We have third baseman, shortstop. We don't need an outfielder. I'll put starters, and I'll put a first baseman because we we'll see. And I guess a second baseman. Scooter's good, but he's 31. We don't really have a guy in the pipeline as like a young stud. You know what I mean? All these guys are see potential. So that can maybe give us some trades. Um, if we take a look at the prospects, we have, let's see, probably nothing crazy. Probably some 2021. 20, Matt Manning is 18. Uh, let's see. Bo Burrows is 27. Dennis Means, so he's at 29. He's higher than Bram, who's on, I'm higher on. He's 35. Anyone else? Nope. So let's take a look at what we're ranked. So the Indians are ninth. We're six. You can see contact power is our strength. Defense is 20th. Speed's 13th, 11th in pitching. And uh, yeah, I mean the division is still pretty weak, other than us and the Indians. So maybe we can get ahead of that. Take a look at the budget. We have 145 million on this team. This offseason, Ben Attendee is a free agent. He's going to be expensive. Pham is a free agent. We're not going to do what we did with him last year. J.B. Crawford's going to be more expensive. Will Smith is a free agent. Avaldi's a free agent. Abreu's a free agent. Kind of like Avaldi and Abreu, that's not the worst thing that they're free agents. Even Will Smith, because he's going to be 33 at that time. Um, Fulmer's still locked up, same as Sir Anthony. Avalon's a free agent. Condelario's got another year. So it's not the worst thing. The only guy who I'm worried about is Ben Attendee. But think about it. Fam's making 19. Ben Attendee's making 9. That's 28. How much will Ben Attendee get in that first year? Less than 28 because usually the first year of the deal, it it's smaller. So like combine those two, it'll be less than what Ben Attendee will make next year. And we'll keep them. So it's not the worst thing. Um, guys like Crawford will be probably more expensive. But we'll lose Abreu. We'll lose some other contracts. So money is not the worst thing, but Rick's going to become more expensive. Casey Mize is locked up, but, you know, he'll get more expensive. So, um, yeah, I think that's going to end the video there, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. I'll see you in the next one. We'll uh, do the regular season. Hopefully we can win the division. We'll go from there. Take it easy, boys. Peace.